I'm giving you the top 15 things that I would buy at Costco for my emergency supply. Hello guys, I am Tara, the author of the Dining on a Dime cookbook where you can eat better, spend less. Today, visit us at livingonadime.com. Today I'm sharing with you the top things that I would get at Costco for my emergency stash. These are the things that are the cheapest for my emergency stash, so I compared prices. And for my emergency stockpile, this is the cheapest place for these items. I compared Walmart, Big Lots, Kroger, and Costco. I did not do Sam's, so those are the four places that I compared. These are the top and the cheapest that you can get at Costco. Number one, toilet paper. Yes, Costco is the number one place for toilet paper. It is actually the cheapest and is the cheapest cost per wipe. You can see my video up here. I'll leave it in the description below. The cost per wipe is the cheapest at Costco. Get your toilet paper at Costco. Batteries. Batteries, the Kirkland batteries are super good there. I did a battery test also. I will link that. And that was one of the top, I can't remember, I think it was the top battery that lasted the longest at Costco and is the best deal because it they're a little bit more expensive than the cheap batteries, but they lasted the longest. Coffee, the Kirkland coffee, that is cheaper than Walmart, Kroger, all of them. It was a really good deal. Seasonings. Now, specifically the specialty seasonings, like the Montreal seasoning, I would not get like just the big garlic powder, onion powder. Those are actually cheaper at big lots, but if you're going to get something like Montreal seasoning that's good for a whole bunch of things like pork chops, steaks, roast, that kind of thing, I love that stuff. It is the same price as getting it at the grocery store, but it's a fancy spice. I mean, the Montreal seasoning is more expensive at the grocery store, but if you were to get like the regular seasonings like garlic powder, onion salt, it costs the same amount as those. So, but you can get a fancy seasoning. Did I say that right? So anyway, the Montreal seasoning is cheaper. Um, honey. Honey is super cheap at Costco. It's a great deal. I would get honey there and it lasts, honey lasts forever for long-term storage. If it crystallizes, all you have to do is warm it up and it goes right back to its liquid state. It's not ruined or anything. Honey is a great buy at Costco coconut oil. Now, coconut oil is the cheapest of Walmart, Kroger, and Costco, but it is cheaper at Big Lots. So if you use a lot of coconut oil and it is a good long-term storage oil, not super long-term, sort of medium term, but it doesn't go bad as fast as liquid oils do. So coconut oil is a great deal at Costco, but you can get a better deal at Big Lots. Aleve, specifically the Kirkland brand of Aleve, that is a lot cheaper at Costco. You're going to need a pain medication for your stash. That's the one I would get. Eye drops. Get eye drops, guys. You never know when you're going to need to wash out your eyes, but here in Colorado and with the fires, we have been having to use a lot of eye drops. So if there's a lot of fires and that kind of thing, you may need eye drops more often, even if you don't normally use them and they are cheaper at Costco. Allegra, again, with all of the forest fires we've been having here in Colorado, I have been on Allegra every single day and Flonase. Do I have that on my list? No, so Allegra and Flonase, both the nasal spray and the pills to keep my allergies down. My eyes were just watering and watering and watering it was awful and itching horribly so if you have allergies get your allergy medicine at Costco it is like a third of the price I about dropped my jaw when I saw the price it would be worth it for me the Costco Allegra and toilet paper alone the savings would save for my membership so that just those two things alone for me would pay for my membership um Okay, back to foods. I kind of got out of order a little bit here, but back to foods. Canola oil. Canola oil. That is cheaper at Costco 
than it is even at Walmart or the grocery store. So get your canola oil there. Now that's not a long-term storage. That's sort of a, that's like a year to 18 months storage. Oil does go bad. But here's the thing. If oil goes bad, you can use it to make soap. If you have some lye, which is drain cleaner, 100% lye drain cleaner. If you get that and oil, if your oil goes bad, you can make homemade soap really easy. Ketchup. Yes, ketchup is actually cheaper at Costco. I couldn't believe it. But it really was cheaper because it was a bigger bottle, but it was the same price at Walmart. I think it was like 10 ounces more. It was 97 cents, I think, at Costco, and it was the same price at Walmart, but you got 10 more ounces at Costco. So ketchup is actually cheaper at Costco, believe it or not. Pine Sol. Pine Sol is cheaper at Costco. If you're needing a disinfectant, get you some Pine Sol. And then the next one is bleach. It is also cheaper than Walmart, the grocery store, Big Lots. It was actually a really good deal. I was su pleasantly surprised and they had it in stock. So Pine Sol and bleach, those are two really good disinfectants that are cheaper at Costco. Baby wipes. Now, baby wipes are not a necessity, but they are a convenience. And they have a great big pack, I think it was like 900, that would be handy to have. So what I would do is get like one, and then you could have it to help clean up. If there's an emergency situation and you don't have water, these would be really nice to clean up. Now, if they dry out, don't throw them away. If you keep them, let's say you keep them three or four years and they dry out, don't throw them away. Just re-wet them and you can still use them. So they're not bad if they're dried out. Just re-wet them and you can still clean yourself off because the detergent is still in there. It's just not the water portion that's in there. So if they dry out after three or four years, don't throw them away. Whoa, big V. <laughs> the sucker was huge. <laughs> uh, don't throw them away. You can still use them. And last but not least, napkins, paper napkins. Now you're going to say, what? Prepping with paper napkins? Are you kidding me? Here's the thing, guys. They make a really convenient plate for um, sandwiches, chips, that kind of thing that you can just dispose of and you don't have to worry about washing plates, that type of thing. So they're really handy. You can also carry your food. If you open up the napkin, you can also put some chips, that type of thing in there to carry it easier also if you need to. So paper napkins, they're not like... I mean, I, I would put it towards the bottom of my list, but they are a convenience and they are helpful in an emergency situation just to make life a little bit easier. Guys, I have a freebie for you right now. If you've watched this entire video, one of the top things you need for your prep is Dining on a Dime Cookbook. The ebook is for free. Go to livingonadime.com, click on our shop. And the ebook use coupon code dining one and you will get it for free you can have that to print out for yourself for your emergency stash we have all kinds of things like how to make crackers how to make taco seasoning how to make your own tortillas how to make biscuits basic hot cocoa basic things like that that if you're in an emergency situation you can't buy them homemade shake and bake you can cook at home with these recipes and still have delicious food even in an emergency. Please visit us at livingonadime.com.